Let's get more details on this by speaking with our correspondent, Ola who is live for us there at the place of the incident. Ola, please bring us to the up to the minute information about the happenings around there. All right. Um, where I am now is um, Ogba, Aguda, here in Lagos. And then right behind me is a particular truck which is still on flames, the flames that has caused devastation around um, around a school very close to a potato around the city. This truck, as we were told, as we gathered, was uh, being chased by traffic um, you know, officials and um, the, the, the truck ran into some students who were from um, grammar school, Jodo Grammar School, Papu, Papu, Papu One Millennium School, who were coming out from school at a particular time that they were just closed from school. And, uh, you know, we don't have the figures to the number of uh, students who were killed by this particular truck. But from that particular point, the truck was being chased down to this place, and the students who were killed um, or who were being hit by this truck, some of them were being, you know, rescued, some were being taken to hospitals. We cannot place, you know, um, you know, of, uh, figure to the number, but according to the people who were there, they said above 10, between 10, 15, 20 of the students, because it was at exactly the time that the students left, you know, close from school and they were going home. And that particular spot happened to be, you know, a bus stop, which is very close to, um, very close to the police station. That is where they always stay, you know, when they, when they leave the school and they are going home. So it's so devastating that uh, many homes will be put in, uh, you know, in sorrow, in agony. And this is a particular talk. I was told that the talk was, you know, um, ran from that point and has brought to this place. This is um, Ogba, Aguda. The talk is still in flames here. And there's panic around this area from, um, from grammar school to Ogba. There's panic. And uh, some of the trucks that we have on the road before, uh, before, um, before, this place has been, you know, some of them were being destroyed by mobs, some of them were being destroyed by students. So it's so devastating that this is happening today. As according to you know, eyewitness, it happened around the 233 when the students left school. So that is the situation and the extension, although police officials, um, security officials have tried to put it on, you know, it has come now, but everybody is just being tense. We don't know what will happen. But we have not been able to place a figure to the number of people who were hit by this truck. But this is a particular truck that has caused the mayhem and then um, it's been burnt down. We also learned that the driver has been you know, arrested and at the police station at yeah, you, you, um, you, you've actually touched on so many many things that have happened there. But then, if the since I can see behind you that the truck has been burned down, the driver has been arrested, just like you said. Uh, what about the situation, the vehicular movement around there? Are they allowing vehicles to to pass through, or traffic has been diverted so as to you know talk about other other vehicular movements around there around the area? Yes, there is free flow of traffic as we speak. It's just that, you know, a road where, um, you know, three, four vehicles have been allowed to pass through. Now, for instance, this vehicle here now with this truck which is being burnt here, there's free flow of traffic, there's no diversion as we speak. Even at uh, grammar school, there's free flow of traffic. It's just that it is, it is, it is narrow, it is, it, it is narrow and the shops are being closed down. You know, the panic. Um, the site is a gory site because we can still see blood stains um, on the road. We can still see, you know, there's a particular scene where, you know, we have, um, you know, flesh and the uh, brain of some of the people that were being hit by this, this from some of the students. So, but there's free flow of traffic, there's no diversion, and there's no traffic, there's no, you know, good luck as it's here on this particular road. We're just making movement, but there's free flow of traffic. There's no. Uh, we block as it were at this particular time. Just that people are still, you know, uh, yeah. uh, uh, there are passers by who are just standing to see what is happening and to see the next the next action that will be taken either by the security of the And uh, people are just are angry that why things at this time. The students are preparing for their exams. Exactly. I think next week I spoke with the students who spoke off camera that um, you know some of his friends were part of the people that were eat. And then they are preparing for their exam, and it's so pathetic. You see, the poor people crying, the poor people for their All children, right. and that's the situation now. Sad faces um, around this area. 
All right, Ola, keep close tabs on this for us. And if you're able to get any information from the parents of some of, of, some of the victims who are involved in this um, incident, we'd like to get more from you. Thank you so much, Ola Wakon, from uh, Life for Us there.